Today, we're diving into the world of mobile operating systems, specifically Harmony OS and Android. These two titans are battling for smartphone dominance and it's getting interesting. We'll break down the key differences, from their origins to their future potential. Whether you're a tech enthusiast or just curious about your phone's software, stick around for the full comparison. Let's get started. This isn't just about tech specs, it's about your digital life. Your phone's OS dictates everything you do, from texting to browsing to gaming. Understanding the strengths and weaknesses of Harmony OS and Android empowers you to make informed decisions about the tech you use every day. So let's get into it. First, let's talk history. The evolution of mobile operating systems has been a fascinating journey, marked by innovation and competition. Android, developed by Google, hit the scene in 2007. It was a game-changer, offering a new level of customization and flexibility. It quickly rose to prominence, becoming the most popular mobile OS globally. Its open-source nature attracted a wide range of manufacturers. Android's open-source nature allowed manufacturers to customize it, leading to a diverse range of Android devices. This diversity has been one of its greatest strengths. Harmony OS, developed by Huawei, emerged later in 2019, it was a strategic move in response to geopolitical challenges. Facing restrictions on using Android, Huawei created Harmony OS to power its devices. This move was crucial for Huawei's survival in the global market. Harmony OS is designed to be a distributed operating system, seamlessly connecting various devices, not just smartphones. This interconnected approach sets it apart. These distinct origins have shaped the philosophies and capabilities of both operating systems. Android focuses on openness and customization, while Harmony OS emphasizes seamless connectivity. Android, with its established presence and open ecosystem, continues to evolve with new features and updates. Its large user base and developer community drive constant innovation. Harmony OS, on the other hand, is still in its early stages, focusing on building its ecosystem and expanding its reach beyond smartphones. Its future potential lies in its ability to create a unified experience across all devices. Now let's pop the hood and peek at the architecture. Android is built on a Linux kernel which handles core system tasks. It uses a virtual machine called Art, Android Runtime, to run apps, providing a layer of abstraction between the app and the hardware. Harmony OS takes a different approach with its micro-kernel architecture. This means it uses smaller, more specialized kernels for different device types and tasks. This modular design aims to improve efficiency and adaptability across a wider range of hardware. These architectural choices have significant implications. Android's Linux-based system is robust and well-established, benefiting from a vast developer community. Harmony OS's micro-kernel architecture, while newer, holds the potential for greater efficiency and flexibility, especially as it expands to more devices beyond smartphones. Let's talk speed. Android's performance has significantly improved over the years. With powerful processors and optimized software, Android devices can handle demanding tasks, from gaming to multitasking smoothly. Harmony OS, being relatively new, is still catching up in the performance department. However, its microkernel architecture promises better resource management and efficiency, potentially leading to longer battery life and smoother performance on less powerful devices. It's still early days for Harmony OS, and its performance will likely continue to improve as the OS matures and developers optimize apps for its microkernel architecture. The real test will be how well Harmony OS scales across different devices and handles demanding tasks in the long run. Section 5. App Stores at War Ecosystem and Compatibility One of the biggest factors in the mobile OS battle is, well, apps. The availability and variety of applications can make or break a platform. Users want access to their favorite apps, and they want them to run smoothly. Android boasts the Google Play Store, a massive marketplace with millions of apps, games, and digital content. From productivity tools to entertainment, the Play Store has it all. This vast library is a major advantage for Android users. It ensures that they have access to a wide range of applications, catering to almost every need and interest. Harmony OS, being the newer kid on the block, is still building its app ecosystem. 
It's a challenging task but one that's crucial for its success. It has its own app store called App Gallery, which is growing but still lags behind Google Play in terms of app selection and availability. The number of apps is increasing, but it's a gradual process. To address this, Harmony OS focuses on compatibility. It aims to bridge the gap by allowing users to run some Android apps, which is a significant feature for those transitioning from Android. However, this compatibility comes with potential limitations in performance or functionality. Not all apps run perfectly and some may experience issues. The success of Harmony OS will depend heavily on its ability to attract developers and build a thriving app ecosystem that can compete with Android's established dominance. Developer support is key, and without it, even the best OS can struggle to gain traction. Section 6. The User Experience, Harmony OS vs. Android Now for the fun part, user experience. Android offers a highly customizable experience. Users can personalize their home screens, widgets, and even install custom launchers for a completely different look and feel. Harmony OS aims for a seamless and intuitive experience. It features a minimalist design, smooth animations, and a focus on interconnected devices. Huawei's control panel provides quick access to smart home controls and device connectivity. Ultimately, the best user experience is subjective. Android's strength lies in its customization options catering to a wide range of preferences. Harmony OS, with its clean design and focus on interconnectedness, offers a potentially more streamlined and intuitive experience, especially for users invested in Huawei's ecosystem. Section 7. Fort Knox or Leaky Bucket. Security and Privacy. Security is paramount in today's digital landscape. With the increasing reliance on smartphones for everything from banking to personal communication, ensuring the safety of our data has never been more critical. Android has faced scrutiny over privacy concerns in the past. Users have often been worried about how their data is being used and whether their personal information is truly secure. However, Google has made significant strides in improving security with features like Google Play Protect and regular security updates. These measures are designed to detect and prevent malicious activities, providing users with a safer experience. Harmony OS emphasizes security as a core principle. From its inception the operating system has been built with privacy and protection in mind, aiming to offer users peace of mind. It uses a micro-kernel security approach isolating different system components to minimize the impact of potential vulnerabilities. This architecture ensures that even if one part of the system is compromised, the rest remains secure. It also features secure boot and data encryption for enhanced protection. These features work together to safeguard user data from unauthorized access and potential breaches. Both operating systems are continually evolving their security measures. As threats become more sophisticated, so too do the defenses put in place by developers. Android's vast user base makes it a more attractive target for hackers, but Google is actively combating threats with robust security updates and features. The sheer number of users means that any vulnerability can have widespread implications, making security a top priority. Harmony OS, with its focus on privacy and security from the ground up, aims to provide a more secure mobile experience. By integrating advanced security features and maintaining a proactive approach, it seeks to protect users in an increasingly digital world. Section 8. Market Dominance Adoption and Challenges Let's talk market share. Android reigns supreme commanding a dominant position in the global smartphone market. Its open source nature and wide adoption by manufacturers have contributed to its widespread popularity. Harmony OS faces an uphill battle. Initially limited to Huawei devices its market share is significantly smaller. However, Huawei is actively pushing Harmony OS adoption, expanding it to other Chinese manufacturers and a wider range of devices. The biggest challenge for Harmony OS is overcoming Android's entrenched dominance. Convincing users to switch ecosystems and attracting developers to build apps for a new platform are significant hurdles. The success of Harmony OS will depend on Huawei's ability to overcome these challenges and offer a compelling alternative to Android. Section 9. The Future of Mobile, Predictions and Possibilities So what does the future hold for these mobile giants? Android's dominance shows no signs of waning. Google continues to innovate with a focus on artificial intelligence, machine learning, and expanding Android's reach beyond smartphones. Harmony OS is the wildcard, 
Its success hinges on Huawei's ability to build a thriving ecosystem and expand its reach beyond its own devices. If successful, Harmony OS's vision of a seamlessly interconnected world of devices could be a game changer. The mobile OS landscape is dynamic and constantly evolving. The competition between Android and Harmony OS will likely intensify, leading to innovation and potentially shaping the future of mobile technology. Whether one emerges as the clear winner or they coexist, offering users choice and driving innovation remains to be seen.